Hi guys, it's Ramina Bath Person. Today I'll be going over question 267 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Assuming you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. The time until the next car accident for a particular driver is exponentially distributed with a mean of 200 days. Calculate the probability the driver has no accident in the next 365 days. So from today to 365, there is zero accident. And from 365 to 730, there is at least one accident. So this is actually equivalent to saying the next accident, what is the probability the next accident happens between 365 and 730? So what we can actually do is we know the um, CDF of an extra exponential distribution is just equal to so the CDF of some um, distribution, let's just call this x, of the exponential distribution is just equal to 1 minus e minus t over x, t over lambda. Right, right? Yes, yes. So then this is equal to, we're actually just looking for, but then the CDF starts at 0. So then we would have to just take the CDF of the 730 and minus the 365 to get the area that we want. So, which is the probability that the next accident happens between 365 and 730. So this is equal to f of 730 minus f of 365. So this is, again, plugging it into our formula, this is equal to 1 minus e to the negative 730 over 200, which is our mean, minus... 1 minus e to the negative 365 over 200. Okay. So this is also equal to 1 minus 1. That just cancels out. So that it's equal to negative e to the negative 730 over 200 plus e to the negative 365 over 200. Okay, so let me type that into my calculator. This is equal to 0.135, which is our answer B. If you found this helpful, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And again, as always, make sure you leave those comments down below. Bye!